Hello dears, today we are going to discuss two another proof methods which are existence proof and counter example. Existence proof. Suppose we have a theorem of this form. There exists x p of x. Suppose we have a theorem of this form. Now to prove such a theorem, we have to find or we have to establish the existence of an object A for which this P of A is true. The theorem says that there exists an X P of X. That means there exists an X such that this statement is true. That is the uh, theorem. So to prove such a theorem, we have to find an X equal to A such that P of A is true. So if we can find such A, then it's done. That is, we proved this theorem. Such a proof is called existence proof. Now, there are two kinds of existence proofs. First one is the constructive existence proof and the second one is non-constructive existence proof. Now, what is constructive existence proof? If you are able to find a mathematical object B such that P of P is true, such an existence proof is a con constructive proof. That is, in constructive existence proof, we need only to find uh, a b such that p of b is true. Then the theorem there exists p of x is proved. If we can find b such that p of b is true. Such existence proof is constructive proof. For example, prove that there is a positive integer that can be expressed in two different ways as the sum of two cubes. Prove that there is a positive integer that can be expressed in two different ways as the sum of uh, two cubes. We can find such a positive integer because we know Hardy Ramanujan number. For Ramanujan number, we have 1729 is the Ramanujan number. We know uh, the significance of this number. That, uh, that is, we can express this number as 1 cube plus 12 cube. Also, we can express this 1729 as 9 cube plus 10 cube. So, we can simply express this 1729 as the sum of two cubes in two different ways. In two different ways. So, uh, we just found uh, such a positive integer that satisfies these properties. So, we, we proved this. So, this is, uh, so here we need only to find such uh, B such that uh, P of B is true. Okay, here P of B is nothing but uh, we can express b in two different ways as the sum of two cubes. Clear. So we uh, proved this uh, by finding this number. One more example. Prove that there are integers x such that x square is equal to x. So how to prove this by constructive existence method? So here we need to prove this statement that is there are integers x such that x square equal to x. So we need to find an x equal to a such that a square equal to a. We can just take x is equal to or a equal to 1. So we know 1 square is equal to 1 and we can prove this. So there exists an x that is 1 so such that uh, x square is equal to x. So this is proved. Next is non-constructive existence proof. What is non-constructive existence proof? In non-constructive existence proof uh, of this theorem, there exists P of x. Uh, we are not providing uh, such an element A such that P of A is true. So, but rather we are establishing its existence by an indirect method, usually contradiction. That is, in non-constructive existence proof, we are not finding or we are not uh, uh, searching for an element A such that P of A is true, but rather we are establishing uh, the existence of that statement by indirect method. Usually we are using uh, the contradiction method. Uh, it can be illustrated by using an example. Prove that there is a prime number greater than 3. Prove that there is a prime number greater than 3. If we are using constructive proof, we can clearly, we know uh, 5 is a uh, prime number uh, and 5 is uh, uh, greater than 3. So, we can just find 5 such that 
uh, it's a prime number which is greater than 3 so it's, it's, it's over but uh, how to uh, prove this by non consecutive existence method so we have to prove that there is a prime number greater than 3 so uh, we, we are proving this by contradiction suppose there are no primes greater than 3 that means all the primes are less than or equal to 3 we are assuming that all the primes are less than or equal to 3 we need to show that there is a prime number which is greater than 3 so we are assuming that there are no primes which are greater than 3 so that, that means all the primes are less than less than or equal to 3 so the primes are only 2 and 3 okay these are the only primes by our uh, assumption so since every integer greater than or equal to 2 can be expressed as a product of powers of primes you know uh, any integer uh, i can be expressed as some x power j into uh, y power k where uh, x and y are primes we can express any integer i as uh, product of powers of primes so if you are taking uh, a, a, an integer 25 so it can be expressible as a product of powers of 2 and 3 because we have only 2 and 3 as our primes because we assume that there are no primes greater than 3 okay so we have the primes are only 2 and 3 so 25 must be expressible as a product of powers of 2 and 3 so that is 25 can be expressed as 2 power i into 3 power j for some integers i and j for some integers i and j we can express 25 as 2 power i into 3 power j but we know that 25 is not divisible by 2 or 3 that is 2 and 3 are not a factor of 25 so uh, 25 cannot be written in this form because uh, 2 and 3 are not factors of 25 so we cannot express 25 in this form we cannot express 25 in this form so it is a contradiction because we assumed that uh, 25 can be expressed in this form because uh, 25 is integer greater than or equal to 2 and it can be expressed because it can be expressed as uh, the product of the powers of primes and we are taken the powers as only 2 and 3 so 25 can be expressed as 2 power i into 3 power j but we know 25 cannot be expressed as 2 power i into 3 power j because 2 and 3 are not factors of uh, 25 okay so it is a contradiction so our, our assumption that this is wrong that is suppose we assume that uh, there are no primes greater than 3 so uh, there are primes there must be a prime which is greater than 3 so that is there are primes greater than 3 another proof method is counter example suppose we would like to show that the statement for every x p of x is false suppose we need to show that this statement is false this is counter example so here we need to show that this statement is false that is to show that negation of this statement is for a very x p of x is true so we have to show that this statement is false that is we have to show that negation of this statement is true okay we know by de morgan's law negation of this statement that is negation of for a very x p of x is logically equivalent to there exists x negation p of x okay we know negation of this statement is nothing but there exists x negation p of x by de morgan's law so uh, to show this is false to show this statement is false we need only to show that this uh, is true that is we need only to show that this is true that is we need to find such x such that p of x is uh, false that is the statement uh, for a very x p of x is false if there exists an item x in universe of discourse for which the predicate p of x is false so such an object x is, uh, is a counter example okay so uh, in counter example if we need to show this statement is false we need only to find x such that uh, an item x such that p of x is false that is because the statement is for every x p of x this is the statement so here we need to show that this statement is false that means we need only to show that this is actually the statement is uh, says that for every x p of x is true that is the statement here so to show this statement is false by counter example we need only to show that uh, 
uh, we need only to find such an item x such that p of x is wrong that is to disprove the proposition for every x p, p, p of x that is to disprove this proposition p for every x p of x all we need to prove uh, produce a counter example c such that p of c is false for example is the statement every girl is a brunette true or false what about this statement is this statement true or false we know clearly it is a, it is false because we can find at least one girl who is not brunette we can at least we can find at least one girl who is not brunette so this statement is false so that is the counter example so in counter example to prove this statement is false we need only to find an x such that this p of x is false okay the statement is actually for every x p of x that is for every x p of x is true that is the statement here so to prove this is false we need only to find uh, an x in the universe of discourse such that p of x is false now you can try to do these problems yourself